I want to talk about Fenwick trees and point updates. So let's dive right in. But before we get to that, absolutely make sure you checked out the Fenwick tree range query video that I posted last. Just to get the context of uh, how the Fenwick tree is set up and how we're doing operations on it. Okay, so just to refresh your brain on how we actually did a prefix sum and how we did those range queries. So what we did was we started at a value at some index, doesn't matter which, and then we continuously removed the least significant bit until we hit zero. So that's the cascading down effect that, that gave. So let's say we start at 13. Well, 13's least significant bit was um, one, so we removed one. And then we got 12, and then we found out that the least significant bit of 12 was four, and so we removed four, and then the least significant bit of eight was eight, and then we reach zero. And once we reach zero, we know that we're done. So doing a point update is very analogous to this, but instead of removing, we're going to be adding the least significant bit, as you'll see. So for instance, if we want to add a value at index nine, then we have to find out all the cells which are responsible for nine. Because remember, cells are responsible for a range of responsibility. So if we start with 9, we find the least significant bit and add it to 9, then we get 10. So 10, find the least significant bit, is, has a value of 2, then we add it to 10, then find the least significant bit of 12, add it to 12, so that was 4, so now we're at 16, and then we would do the same thing, and then we're out of bounds, so we would know to stop. So if I draw a line outwards from 9, all the cells that I hit are the ones I have to update. So remember, those lines represent a range of responsibility. So the lines that I hit are the ones that I got when I added the least significant bits. Okay, so if we want to add some constant x, at position 6 in the Fenwick tree, which cells do I need to modify? So we start with 6, and then we find the least significant bit of 6 and add it to 6, so we get 8. Now find the least significant bit of 8 and add it to 8, so we get 16. So if I draw a line out from 6, then indeed the cells that I do hit are 6, 8, and 16. So the required updates for our Fenwick tree are that we need to up add x to position 6, 8, and 16. So the algorithm is really, really simple. So if we have a Fenwick tree stored in an array of size n, then while i, so i is the position we originally want to update, so while i is less than n, we're going to add x to the tree at position i and add on the value of the least significant bit of i. And that's it, where uh, the function lsb is the least significant bit of i. And there are built-in functions to do that usually. And we're going to have a look at some source code. All right, so that was point updates. And now we actually need to construct the Fenwick tree. Uh, and we're going to see how to do that in the next video. So guys, if you learned something, please hit the like button and share this video. And that's all for now. I'll catch you next time.